Do you know who Vivian Mayer is? Have you ever heard of Vivian Mayer? Do you know what I'm talking about? Let's go. If you are a photographer or just journalist or any kind of storyteller, Vivian Mayer is something you should really know or their or her work is something you should really know even though she is not around anymore. Now, why am I bringing this up? A lot of photographers, you know, some YouTube photographers more than others, you know, they give book suggestions, movie suggestions, and you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I normally just don't do it a lot, but be, because it's really hard to please me as a movie viewer, I don't know, I'm just tough, I'm just picky. But photography obviously is a huge, huge passion of mine, and I heard about this uh, movie last year, even though our documentary that came out in 2013, and I'm finally just getting around to seeing it, uh, I think it was like on Showtime uh, earlier today. And essentially this is about, and let's go to the synopsis right here. Essentially this is a documentary on the late Vivian Meyer who passed away in 2009, I think in April, who basically was a nanny. No one knew anything about her. Essentially she was a loner. Um, you know, I'm not telling you anything you won't see from the movie anyway, you know, no spoiler alerts or anything, but she was basically a, a nanny by, by profession, by trade, didn't have a wealthy life, didn't have any family or anything around. And she was a nanny whose previously unknown cache of over 100,000 photographs earned her now reputation as one of the most uh, accomplished street photographers of the time. Uh, so that's a, pretty much a spot on, uh, you know, summary by IMDb. And essentially, it's this it's this lady right here, Vivian Mayer. She, no one knew anything about her. She worked for a lot of families. And it's just insane to see she really hid herself off from the uh, from the world. You know, a lot of the kids she was with saw her with a little rolly flex. You see, you know, that's that's what has her around on her neck, and that's what she took photos with. Uh, she would walk around and take photos, but no one knew about it. She kept, like as it said, hundreds of thousands of rolls of film and everything just away. She was really like kind of a hoarder, which you'll find out more down the line. So how did she get found if no one knew anything about her? Why is she relevant? Well, a guy right here named John Maloof, this gentleman right here, essentially lived across the street from a uh, an auction house. And what he did was, you know, he liked to buy old photographs for a documentary or something he was working on or a project. And he ran into, you know, this huge amount of, uh, of old photographs and prints and everything. He paid like $400 for them or something like that. And essentially, he wanted to find out who this mysterious photographer was because there was nothing, no trail, no Google images, no nothing. So essentially, that was his entire goal. And, you know, through documentaries, through everything, it's an Oscar-nominated uh, film. It's just a really, really fantastic watch. Once again, it's really hard to get me passionate about something. You know, it was like an hour, 40 minutes or whatever. Does it, you know, hold on, does it have the ETA here? Uh, yeah, 83 minutes, whatever. So, you know, close enough. And it was, it was an easy watch. I give this a 10 out of 10. I actually literally just uh, went on uh, eBay and bought this because I just, I thought this was a really well-told photography documentary. It's a documentary and it just, it just really blew me away. So you have to check this out, you know, uh, as a movie person myself and as someone who enjoys, you know, the art, uh, this can appeal to more than just a photographer. As I said, uh, you know, if you're into documentaries, bi uh, you know, biographies, all that kind of stuff, this is the perfect movie for you uh, in general. And once again, you know, so IMDb has a rating of this. Uh, you know, Rotten Tomatoes is very, very tough. 94%. It's really well-deserved, um, you know, on everything. So I kind of set it up. I don't want to give you a ton. It's just interesting to see this person who no one knew anything about had this amazing, amazing work. I'm going to see if I can find it here. You know, this is just some of those hundreds of thousands and everything. Just street photos with her Roloflex just walking around. Black and whites pop. There's personality. You know, it blew me away. Once again, I heard about this story a little while ago, and I never really fully dove into the work, but just the stuff uh, she was going around like Chicago and capturing, you know, in the late 50s, early 60s, 1962, I think was her big year. And she traveled to France and everything. It just, it's just mind blowing about what she was able to capture and wanted no fame from it. She was very, very secluded. So that's the interesting part of this entire, uh, you know, this entire thing. You know, it was a Facebook page. It was directed by John Maloof and Charlie Siskel. And it's, it's an easy watch. And, you know, I, I would definitely, I'll link the trailer actually in the description of this video. Uh, so go check it out. As I said, this is a, uh, a must watch, uh, you know, right here. 
findingvivianmeyer.com. You can go in, hear the stories and everything, uh, you know, and all the awards that it won, which is, uh, you know, amazing. And a lot of the things, you know, it's a, it's a tribute, study of obsession, and obsession is a great word. Great detective story. This guy, John, started from photos, going around finding old, like, receipts and and invoices from when she was a nanny to track down and find people to tell her story that she couldn't tell herself as she died essentially alone and unpopular but that's not the case so check this out man this is so awesome uh finding vivian mayer you know viv vivian miss mayer whatever you want to whatever you want to say as i said check out the trailer i'll throw that down in the description below and you know this was uh, uh nominated for an oscar and uh, I just, I, I can't say anything more than this. Uh, definitely check out some of the work. Uh, and her work is in galleries, you know, all over the world, uh, New York, London, Paris, uh, you know, and other places. So check this out. This is worth a watch. So, you know, due diligence to Vivian Meyer, who you don't know if she wanted to become famous or not. You don't, no one knows how she would have handled it. You know, that's kind of the whole mystique of this whole movie and documentary. Um, but the work, you know, the composition, no one knew anything about this, uh, you know, it's just amazing. And just a personality because she had the role of flex, which you're looking down. It's more from your, from your hip, your stomach area level giving, you know, from this, you know, if her, if her online was more up on this, you know, it wouldn't be as impactful as where it is now giving this, this gentleman power. So check this out. Really awesome. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know down in the comments if you've seen this before or if you, uh, you know, and recommend this or if you're curious about it, you know, what are your thoughts about the movie, you know, if you have seen it or uh, any questions. That'd be great. I don't know. Monday, I wanted to do a fun video and this is something that blew me away and this is uh, really awesome. So Finding Vivian Mayer, you know, it's on DVD, Blu-ray, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, as of right now in January of 2015, like I saw it like on demand, you know, in a, in a couple other places. So check it out. That's all I got. Eric Ross of the guy with the eye. You know, please give a thumbs up if you think this was cool type of thing. Maybe I'll do a couple more of these like uh, like review type things and stuff that I have. Like I have some books and all that kind of stuff. I don't want to get into a ton, but when something really strikes my eye, I – um. I want to talk about it, and I did, and I think that this movie is a uh, an easy 10 out of 10 for me. It was easy watch. I can go back and watch this thing over and over, and um, I think I will. That's all I got. Eric Ross of the Guy with the Eye. Check out this movie. This movie really defines – this is a really good photography-related um, you know, movie, videography, whatever you want to call it. Have a good one. Let me know what you guys think down below. Eric Ross of the Guy with the Eye. Have a good one.